the mad scientist is back once again with another one of his fantastic database creations. This time he is taking us to the fantasy nation of Cospia. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to get the database and the graphics all working. You can download all the files you need for this database from the links down below in my description. But once you have done that, this is what you should have. You should have a Cospia database FMF file to get the database working and you should have a logos and kits both in WinRAR files and a Cospia Plague folder that might be in a Rinwar as well. I'm not sure. I've just got it like this because I've been helping Mad Scientist with a couple bits over the last couple of days. But this is the kind of thing you should have. And so first things first we're going to do is we're going to go and drop the Cospia database into the editor data file. So we're going to cut that. And by the way, these files, they might be in your download folder or wherever your downloads go. I've just put them into a normal folder just, just to make it easier for just to see what you guys have to do. So, yep, we've got that. And so we're going to go D. It might be on your C drive. My FM is on my D drive because my laptop is weird and has more space on the D drive. So just find wherever your sports interactive folder is. Mine is there. And then just go into it. Go into Football Manager 2021. And then you want to go into Editor Data. And as you can see, I have got loads of Editor Data files. So you just want to paste it into there. And then if we do change the date modified and go up to the top, you can see that it is there there it is it is in there it's already all good to go i'll show you how to get the graphics into the graphics folder and then we'll go into the game and i'll show you how to set the database up properly just to get it all working for you guys so now just go back to wherever your downloaded files are and then this is what you will have left and then, so you want to go kits.rar, double click on that, and then that will bring up this screen here. And then click on the kits, and then where it says Cosbia kits, click on that, and you can either right click, or what I prefer to do, just because it's what I'm used to, is just go to extract two, and then on this screen, just once again, just find wherever your sports interactive folder is. On this program, it's all in alphabetical order, so it might be quite a way down, depending how many programs you have. And then you can see I've just clicked on Football Manager 2021, and you just want to click on where it says Graphics here, and then just go OK. That will just take a second, and boss, that is in there. And then you just want to do the same again for the logos. So once again, double click on it. And this time, I think you only want to click on the normal logos. No, you don't. You want to, you want to double click on the logos. Go to where it says Cospia. And then extract it again. And this time, go all the way down to Sports Interactive once again. And again, just find the graphics folder inside Football Manager 2021. Click on OK. And that now is in there. And then for the flag, you just want to do similar to what we did for the editor data file. So go Sports Interactive once again, Football Manager 2021. And this time you want to go inside the graphics. And you can see now that I've got quite a few graphic packs. So... What you want to do is you want to get rid of all the ones that aren't work aren't going to work alongside this database. So what I would do is I would select all of them. So go all the way over to there and then just simply oh and then just go back on there, right click, go cut, and then what I've done is I have got a temporary graphics folder here. Just right click in there. That is just outside 
of where the Sports Interactive and FM pick up all their files. So it's nice and near, so you can drag them back in nice and easily. But also the game isn't going to pick them up. So if we go back into our graphics folder, it's now looking like that. Let me just get rid of that. And so, and let me get rid of that one as well. And so this is what you should have. Cospia kits, Cospia flag, and that is the logos. If we just go inside there, you can have a look. Some very, very nice logos there, to be honest. And so, now let's just go and jump into the game. And so, what you want to do now is to get the graphics working. You want to go into Preferences. You want to go Reset. Clear the cast. And yet, just say yes. And then, and then you're going to want to reload the skin. Just because that will tell the game that you're looking for different graphics now. And that might just take a second depending on the speed of your particular machine. And so now you can see that my custom West Ham logos have disappeared. So that does mean that the graphics are now working for this new database. And to get the database working, you want to go start new game and then click on career. And then up the top here, you want to make sure you've got the database 21.40 update. It's the latest database, so it should be there by default. And you can now see that the FMF file is in, is in the right place and it is going to work. So just click on confirm. Make sure it's the only editor data file you've got loaded, just in case there's any issues. And so, yep, we've got that. So now go Advanced Setup. That, again, might just take a second. And yep, here we are. We're now on the, on the League selection screen. I'm just going to load in only the Cospia Leagues, just for ease of use. As actually, yep, there we go, Add Remove Leagues. So we want to go down there. Cospia is here in Europe. So you want that. Just click on confirm and get rid of England as well. It might work alongside England. I should think it will. There shouldn't be any issues. I'm just doing this just to get this loaded up quickly for you guys. And so what you want to do on this screen is you want to go add players to playable teams. And you want to leave this one. Do not add key staff. You want to leave that unticked. So this will make sure that all teams have players and have staff. And I think everything else should be okay to leave as is or however you want it. So yep, yeah, just make sure you've got add players to playable teams ticked. But do not add key staff unticked. And so now let's just go and load the game up and I'll show you that it is all working correctly. So here we are on the team selection screen. It has just taken about five or six minutes just to load up the database, but that's very normal. That's to be expected with the amount of changes the mad scientist has made to the database. But we're in now and you can see that all the teams have logos, kits, the whole shebang as you would expect. And if you have a look at this one team here, Oitset Orsi, I think that's how you pronounce it. I hope it is. But yeah, you can see that he, he's got the kits, he's got the logo for the team. And even as far down as the bottom league, Serie C, if we just go to this one random team here, actually that's not a very good one, because, well, you can't really see it against the text there because of my skin. But here, Rio Akil Calcio, you can see they've got kits, they've got the logo, and because we selected add players to playable teams, you can see that they have got a whole complete squad, so everything is good to go. And so I'm really looking forward to getting a go on this database. I think I'm going to do that right now after I've finished recording this. 
So guys, if you also are going to have a go, let me know down below what team you've chosen and why. And while you're there, drop a like on the video and maybe consider subscribing to my channel. I've got two FM21 series on the go at the minute. I've got a West Ham series going on the 0102 database, again from the Mad Scientist. And I've got a worldwide journeyman save where we have just joined our second club and it's a very very exciting one so it would be a great time to get in on the action and so yeah that's everything for me today follow me on twitter at taylor m gaming and i shall see you around bye